All right, we're back here on Sportsline on a Tuesday night on News Channel 5 Plus. Talked a lot of hockey, talked a lot of basketball, but let's talk some soccer. Coming up this summer, a really cool month at Nissan Stadium. It all starts with the Gold Cup opening group stage game for the U.S. men's national team taking on Panama. That is July the 8th at Nissan Stadium, part of a doubleheader in the Gold Cup there. So uh, that's one of the biggest tournaments that the U.S. men's national team plays every other year. Part of CONCACAF around here. It's just a big, big game for them coming up on July the 8th. But then later in the summer, July 29th, so just a few weeks later, also at Nissan Stadium, you have Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester City, two Premier League powers coming to Nashville to play at Nissan Stadium in the International Champions Cup. Charlie Stilitano is from Relevant Sports. He joins us now on the phone here on Sportsline. Charlie, good evening. Thanks for coming on the program tonight. This is a really cool event for soccer fans in Music City. Other cities in this country I know have had the opportunity to get some of these international champions, get the Premier League teams to come. But for those people in Nashville who've supported the national team when it comes and the Olympic qualifiers when they come, this is our first experience to the international club soccer. What will they expect when Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester City hit the field on July the 29th? Well, they should expect a great football match, a great soccer match, as we like to say here in the States. You know, Man City is uh, one, of the, one of the premier clubs in the world, and Tottenham Hotspur is also a great Premier League club. Some of, the, some of the best players on earth will be on these teams. They'll all be here this summer, uh, and we're really looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. It really should be. So take me through some of the process in the soccer world because you're, you're very much embedded there with your steep history in the sport. Take me through sort of the process of looking at Nashville because to me it seems each time one of these events, one of these new events comes to town, the city has risen to the occasion and has shown that, that it's a true soccer city at this point. Yeah, and I think that's really well said. I mean, this is the Premier League is the most popular foreign league in the in the country, uh, really in the world. Uh, and these two teams are at the top of the table there with uh, Chelsea Football Club. You know, we're owned. Relevant Sports is owned by Stephen Ross. Yep. The Miami Dolphins and is uh, very close with the Titans owners, who have been just absolutely tremendous. We've had. So many great partners in Nashville, from the National Vis Visitors Corp to Tennessee State Soccer Association and Nashville Soccer Club. But I think also it's because it's this iconic city that's really done well in uh, supporting U.S. national team and Olympic team events. And that's something that's very important for us. And we see that as a, you know, soccer in the city of Nashville and in the whole area has really grown tremendously over the past couple of years. I don't know how much, Charlie, you can give necessarily a scouting report of these two teams, and obviously rosters will change over a little bit from what we see at the end of this year in the Premier League to what they'll be doing in the exhibition season in the summer. But you've got Tottenham right now, seven points back of Chelsea in second place in the Premier League table, Man City in fourth place right now. So, I mean, these are two of the Premier, Premier League clubs right now, and they've got some stars that they'll be bringing with them, don't they? Yeah, well, Tottenham Hotspurs has a couple, five national team players from the English national team, including uh, Harry Kane and Della Alley, two of the great young stars in the world. Uh, and Man City is one of these teams that is blessed with a lot of their owners are some of the richest people in the world in Abu Dhabi. And they have Sergio Aguero, uh, a, a Belgian national team player, uh, Kevin De Bruyne. And they have some of the superstars in the world football and if anything, they're going to get more stars in the summertime. Charlie Stilitano from Relevant Sports here with us tonight on Sportsline talking about the International Champions Cup, which will play a game at Nissan Stadium for the first time ever, Tottenham Hotspur and Man City on July the 29th. Charlie, for those people who don't know much about the International Champions Cup, give us the rundown on sort of its history because it seems to be getting more and more popular here in the United States as these these foreign club teams come on over. Yeah, and we've uh, this is the fifth uh, season that we've had it. It's become an international tournament. 
uh, Mr. Ross wanted to make this the preeminent preseason tournament in the world. Uh, now we're in China, uh, Singapore, Europe, and the U.S., and Nashville's a new city for us. But, you know, it's such an iconic city. I have to tell you, the players are all excited. They always get excited about coming to the States, but especially an iconic city like Nashville. You know, I had my first uh, authentic taste of uh, hot chicken uh, <laughs> when I was there last time. And, there, and there's so many cool things about Music City. And I have to tell you, the teams are, are really excited to come and, and not just play in the match, but also to get into the community the days before. So it should be a lot of fun. So when these teams come over, correct me if I'm wrong here, but they each play three games stateside if they're part of the group that comes stateside, correct? Yeah, they're, this year we have our best lineup ever, and we have the two Spanish giants, Barcelona uh, and Real Madrid, and the first time they're playing in Miami, first time outside of Spain. Uh, we have Manchester United. We have Man City and Tottenham Hotspurs from the Premier League. We have Juventus. Uh, and Roma from the Italian Serie A, and then we have PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, who just, uh, and all these teams are, are Champions League quality teams. Uh, you know, they're really the best teams in the world, and, and in a lot of ways, the most valuable teams financially and otherwise. Yeah, I follow the Premier League a fair amount. I, I'm a known as kind of a Chelsea backer around these parts, and I know a lot of other people in Nashville ha have latched on to certain teams. Obviously, if you pay any attention, the Premier League is sort of first and foremost for a lot of them. If they're in the Champions League, that's obviously a huge honor and they want to go to this. As we mentioned, this is a exhibition tournament in the preseason for all of these clubs, but yet you're playing essentially a Champions League type of tournament against teams of that caliber. How much do each of these clubs put into this competition, Charlie? Well, I mean, it's 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 gotten more and more serious and our ambassadors are Sir Alex Ferguson and Paolo Maldini uh, and you know the great manager for Manchester United and the great player from AC Milan and, and you know one thing they brought up is that there really isn't a such thing as a friendly match during uh, when these guys face each other we're already talking about 25,000 tickets being sold here in Nashville uh, we expect a full house uh, and no one wants to go out there and be embarrassed by their counterparts. And keep in mind that this may be preseason, but they have to start the season the following week. And so you'll have all the players really in, in uh, getting in top form. A, a team like Manchester United, for example, is coming in on the 8th of July, and they won't play their first game until the 20th. And so these guys will be ready, they'll be prepared, and it's – it's not something that they can miss or are really allowed to miss. I mean, the players have to be there, and they have to play. And I think one thing that the International Champions Cup has shown over time is that the managers take it serious and the players take it serious. And I would have to imagine when you look at this matchup, Tottenham and Man City, I mean, those are rivals within the Premier League. So I imagine even if it wasn't a tournament with some kind of a cup on the line at the end of it, you could just put them in a street somewhere, you know, lower Broadway here in Nashville, and they'd get after it. Yeah, I think, I think you hit it on the head. I mean, you're talking about some of the best and brightest players in the world. Guys are trying to fight for their jobs, don't forget. Uh, young players are trying to break into the team. Stars are trying to, you know, reestablish themselves. And, and, you know, you have two great young managers. Pep Guardiola at Man City is seen as one of the great managers in the world today. And, and uh, Pochettino, the manager from uh, Tottenham Hotspurs, is another guy seen as this brilliant young manager. And so they're not going to come to this and, and someone's uh, going to get blown out for this matchup. I mean, the players are serious. It, it's really it surprised me how serious everyone takes this. And the fans uh, have, have, have really accepted that, and it's really become a destination for the teams and the fans to go to. And like I said, you know, 25,000 tickets already sold. <laughs> Our first public on-sale date is today. Right. Um, and a lot of people were telling us, well, if we're, you know, you're not going to get more than 15,000 and 20,000 people at the game when we've already sold 25,000. So we're pretty excited about it. We think it'll be a sellout. And but trust me when I tell you this, you'll be shocked how seriously these players and managers take this game.
Charlie, just hit on it. We're all excited about this game. I want you to give some ticket information in just a moment. But before we get to that, I do want to ask you, Nashville, as we talked about, the push to become more of a soccer city, a finalist for an MLS franchise as the league continues to expand. Uh, what do you view as someone connected to the soccer community? Uh, where do you view the Nashville bid for an expansion MLS franchise right now? Well, honestly, I think it's at the top of the heap. In Nashville, there are some cities that will really support a, you know, a local, let's call it a, a you know, an ethnic soccer group. You know, I was explaining to somebody today that, you know, you wouldn't know it, but in Washington, D.C., there's, you know, 30,000 Bolivians, right? But what Nashville has is, you know, they've supported the U.S. national team. You can see they're big supporters of the Premier League. And so that really bodes well for MLS. You know, we looked at, at past events there, and we thought that this was really, you know, a good city. It was ripe for a, an opportunity. And what we've done, uh, you know, I've been in the business a long time, longer than I uh, care to say, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll tell you, we've hit the cities for the first time, Toronto, Seattle, uh, Detroit. We were there before anyone else is, and MLS has seen that and used our games as a barometer. So if this is any indication, uh, I, I think this will be a great MLS city. I really do. Well, that would be great. Nashville would obviously love that. In the meantime, we're excited about this event coming up this summer. It's going to be a fun month of July, really, but certainly the 29th, Tottenham Hotspur and Man City at Nissan Stadium. Charlie, if you don't mind, as you said, tickets went on sale today. Give the folks at home their best options. If they're trying to get in the stadium on that day, what do they need to do in terms of getting tickets and information for yeah, that matchup? There's still great tickets available. They're starting at $33, so we're really trying to make it uh, fan friendly and really, you know, fill the stadium. So we have uh, you can just go to internationalchampionscup.com um, and then from there, it's easy. Just pick the game you want to see. And obviously, in this case, pick Man City, Tottenham Hotspurs, and get your ticket. Sounds terrific. Charlie, we appreciate your time tonight. I know it's late out on the East Coast, but we appreciate you coming on here in Nashville. And hopefully, we'll see you this summer around some really good soccer. You will, Steve. Thank you so much. All righty. Thank you very much for the time. Charlie Stilitano from Relevant Sports joining us tonight. I just think this is a really cool event. If you are a soccer fan or you've seen a, bits and pieces of some of the international soccer game, and here's an opportunity in your hometown to go out and check it out. Between the Gold Cup matchup in the early part of July between the U.S. national team and Panama and then this game in the International Champions Cup on July 29th. It's going to be a fun month. It's going to be hot, but soccer fans ready to get out there and cheer on the U.S. and, and pick their favorite Premier League side for that game on the 29th. Got to take a break. When we come back, we'll get back to the NCAA tournament. We'll hear from North Carolina after they cut down the nets for the third time in a dozen years. Also, Right on the other side of this, Kermit Davis, who joined us on the Electric Power Company Sunday Sports Central over the weekend about his team's great run in the NCAA tournament and what's next for the Blue Raiders. Coming up next, right here on Sports Live on News Channel 5 Plus.